We're being warned that a super termite capable of eating four times as much, four times as quickly as a normal termite is on the march. It's the world's most destructive termite and now, like the cane toad, it's spreading from the tropical north to set up large colonies further south. As Adam Marshall reports, experts fear the super termite is mutating to survive and thrive in colder conditions. It can do severe structural damage to houses really quickly. They can attack not in their thousands, but in their millions. There's reports of um, the meeting tr tractor tyres, um, asphalt, um, uh, electrical cables in houses. They're bigger, more ferocious and hungrier than any other termite on the planet and they've started marching south along Australia's eastern seaboard. They're usually discovered north of the tropic. It's alarming that they're here, that's for sure. The mastotermis darwiniensis, or the great northern termite, is responsible for millions of dollars in damage in far northern Australia every year. It's three to four times the size of normal termites and is resistant to regular white hand treatments. Nobody wants super termites like these in their homes at any time and certainly not to the point where they might destroy their home in within three months. Forget looking for mud tunnels, the mastotermis build a termite superhighway as seen under this house. But the signs aren't always so obvious. This is the bed where a grandmother was sleeping when the roof caved in over her head. Pest treatment consultant Chris Langley has been studying the species for over 40 years. An average sized colony can eat through seven kilos of wood a day. I've actually had them draw blood when I've had contact with the soldiers. What has scientists so concerned is that the great northern termite normally has one major chink in its armour, cold weather, and previously couldn't survive below the Tropic of Capricorn, which cuts across Australia along a line from Rockhampton through to just north of Alice Springs in the Northern Territory and Carnarvon in Western Australia. That was until last week when a colony was found surviving quite happily on a property on the Gold Coast. The question now is just how far south will they go? But it appears that they've modified their behaviour to meet the climatic conditions down south here. Whether it's global warming or an adaptation by the termite itself is so far unknown. But now through till May, termites of all types are moving into their prime feeding and breeding phase. The wetter and warmer the weather, the better. They're definitely heading south, obviously. Danny Kelly is the pest inspector who found the super termites while carrying out a pre-purchased property inspection on the Gold Coast last week. The tree stump was basically covered in, in mud from the termites and when I um, opened it up, there they were. Entomologists confirmed his suspicions. The exact location of this colony is being kept secret by the property owner as they're trying to sell. Reports from Northern Australia are this termite will stop at nothing to get to timber chewing through tractor tyres, eating live trees, electrical cables, bitumen, metal, even plastic, leather and glass. They could be considered the most destructive termite species in the world. The problem is home south of the Tropic of Capricorn, even if they have been treated for termites, the chemical barriers aren't strong enough to defend against these super termites. Homeowners should definitely be alarmed over this. They need wood and lots of it. Keep your eyes open, have regular inspections in your home and wherever necessary, ask questions if you see something you're not sure about. Tata Marshall reporting.